This summer, my family and I decided to go to Colorado. After our first two days, we were already mesmerized by everything that we had seen, and today would prove to be just as beautiful. There are two rooms in this park, and the south rim is only 20 minutes away from Montrose and is more popular than the north rim. Getting to the north rim from the south rim can take two to three hours, so if you want to visit both, you should give two days for this park. We explore the south rim. Day three, we are on to Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park. Black Canyon of the Gunnison is the least visited of the four national parks in Colorado. Its unique geological formations are something you definitely don't want to miss. From the visitor center, you take these stairs down to go to the gun center to get a better view of the canyon. Also at this national park they have little refill stations if you have a reusable water okay. bottle and they have little chipmunks. We made a friend. Also I'm glowing because I put on so much sunscreen. The first thing we did was drive to the end of South Rim Road to get to Warner Point Trail. Warner Point Trail is a one and a half mile hike with a 406 foot elevation gain. On this trail, you'll definitely get some of the best views of the park, especially at the end. Ask me, how are you feeling? Definitely tired. Really fun though. Yeah, so obviously the uphills are a little bit harder than the downhills, but I would still say it's very doable. The good thing is, at least on this trail, I don't know about the whole park, but I do have a little bit of service, so my All Trails app was working. But even without it, I think it's a pretty easy trail to follow. In the late afternoon, it was over 80 degrees, so we drove down South Rim Road where we were able to stop at overlooks and observe some of the geological formations that are characteristic of this park. Since I'm a nerd, I did do my research and the recognizable stripes on these rocks were caused by magma that flowed through the cracks of the rocks and eventually cooled, which caused the pegmatite crystals to form.
for a lot of these overlooks you have to walk on a really short trail it's nothing it's super easy but that's just something to keep in mind that's why the south rim road definitely will take you long if you don't stop at any of these overlooks from the visitor center to the last point on that road it's really just a 20 minute drive but it starts adding up when you stop at all these overlooks another thing is i'm super glad that we did the warner point trail earlier this morning because it was still a little bit cooler now it's definitely a lot hotter like i think in the 80s or something and going uphill is not fun at that temperature so would recommend getting in those harder hikes or hikes with more altitude out of the way early in the, in the morning so and obviously you have the mountain landscape pretty much everywhere you go another thing that i really love about this park is that it's the perfect balance between crowded and having your own time i don't like being too isolated either but at the same time it's not so crowded where you can't see the views or you can't just spend time with your own thoughts. You actually have a great balance of both of them. Like right now, I can't see anyone in front of me on this trail. Then we spotted some wildlife and we were kind of confused on what species this was, but it was definitely an interesting experience. the keystone to Erebor. If you've ever watched The Hobbit, it looks like you can put a key in there and the moon would be over there. This is what I was talking about. There is no one here on this trail to this overlook. We drove down East Portal Road, which is a five mile drive down to the Gunnison River. just walking East Portal Road right by the Gunnison River and I think it's starting to cool off a little bit. There aren't a lot of people here. There were some cars back there but this is definitely a spot that I recommend especially to see the river. It's very peaceful. Crazy to think we were basically that elevation before and we had to drive all the way down here to get to this road. surprised that not a lot of people go to this national park because it's definitely worth a visit. There are so many hikes that you can go on and that along with the scenic drive just makes for a perfect outdoor day.